Hello, my fellow champions in training! Welcome back to more Pokémon Leaf Green version! In the last part, we made it all the way here to Victory Road after defeating Gary. And in this part, hopefully, we're gonna get all the way through Victory Road without epic failure, like we usually do. But then again, that makes great content, so I shouldn't really complain about the epic failure. But whatever, let's just go ahead and push the Nugget back on here. Yeah, that's the thing I hate about the Victory Road, is that every time you leave, you have to... <laughs> Put the boulders right back where they were. It's like, oh, why do boulders move? They're not Geo dudes, dude. Okay. So now we're gonna put this boulder back onto the Uton like it was supposed to be. How dare you move, boulder? <laughs> I love how the sound is glass breaking. All right, fine game. I'll put up a max repel. I mean, we went through three wild Pokemon during that one endeavor. What the heck? Yeah, I didn't level up off screen like I thought I would, but eh, whatever. Okay, I don't... No, we can't use that boulder. Okay. Good thing I ignored it the first time, then. Alright, now, uh, before I thought that you had to actually get Dugtrio in order to go through this place, but in fact, you do not actually need Dugtrio with, uh, Rock Smash. Because Rock Smash isn't actually required to actually get through here, so... Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. However, I am gonna keep it in my team just in case I do need to use Dig in order to get through here. So, yeah. Uh, let's get the other item. And this is a rare candy! Okay, cool. Worth getting, then. Worth getting both, then. Huh. Okay. So I'm gonna be cutting all the, uh, trainer fights in here. Well, just showing what Pokémon they have, because... This would be a very long episode, and I know I'm gonna have a lot to edit anyway, so... Yeah, let's begin with this guy, I suppose. This cool trainer, Ronaldo. Wow, great name. So, Ronaldo has Eradicate at level 42. He has an Ivysaur at level 42. Why the hell have you not evolved that thing 10 levels ago? Seriously, dude. Uh, he also has a War Turtle at level 42. Apparently, he's like the Ash Ketchum, except Ronaldo, so he's kind of a foreign person. Eh, whatever. Even as a Charmeleon at level 42. What the heck? You are Ash. And he has a Charizard at level 42. Charizard is the evolution of Charmeleon Fire Flying, so yeah, it spread out wings like Icarus and decided to fly, and then its wings melted and became, because they were made out of wax and all that good stuff, but, uh, yeah, Charizard is one of the main Pokémon from the actual Fire Red game, so, yeah. Uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green are actually two of the only Pokémon games that I know of, besides the original Red and Blue, that, uh, aren't based off of Legends, so that's something very noteworthy. And Banzai grew to level 45, very nice note to note off, uh, in the battle off of. Note to note the on off, off of. Do the do! Okay. Anyways, we're gonna go up here the first time ever. Uh, we can't go over there because that would be stupid and that block would just do nothing. So we're gonna move this boulder. We're gonna push boulders because pushing boulders is fun. Okay. Let's push you onto the dial. That way we can hear that glass shattering sound again. That makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, seriously, what is that? What is that, man? Level 48? What? Okay, enough with the random encounters. It's getting kind of annoying now. Is it? It's ironic, don't you think? Okay, so... we I'm kind of battling a couple of the wild Pokémon in here because we kind of need to, because... Um, I would recommend your Pokémon be at least at level 45 for the uh, upcoming battles up here. Not the actual trainers in here, mind you, but... There's an upcoming place where your Pokémon need to be at least at level 45. At least. Okay, so Black Belt Daitsuke... Daisuke used a Machoke at level 43. Yeah, it's Daisuke. Okay, so he has a Machoke at level 43 as well. And he has another Machoke at level 30, 43. Why does no one have a Machamp? Seriously, nobody can trade in this game? What the heck? You can trade in-game. Okay, so now we're gonna keep going down, and wow, there's a whole bunch of items down here. Well, two. Apparently two in my language is a whole bunch of items. Uh, Team 37 Sandstorm. Sandstorm is a field-type move. It's kind of like Rain Dance or Sunny Day. But, um, what Sandstorm does is it damages each Pokémon if, unless they are Steel Rock or Ground-type every turn, so that's something you want to be aware of. It's very good for Steel Rock and Ground, everything else is just gonna get hurt by it. So, yeah. I'm kinda surprised how do predominant, uh, Marowak are down here. I really like the Marowak, though, so I'm not complaining. How you doing, baby? Well, no, it's male. Ew! That's disgusting! It's still disgusting I was hitting all my Pokemon. What the heck is wrong with me? Okay, so we want to break that, that way we can get up that ladder. Man, I'm gonna be editing so much in this episode, I swear. Uh, let's put out Kyukana in the front. I don't 
think it has really any type advantages in this cave, but eh, it never hurts. Uh, great. Another Max Repel, why not? I like Max Repels, it's like tanning lotion or something. Uh, full heal, okay, that's good, I suppose. What you got, shopkeep? Oh, you do battle. I was like, oh, don't you give me an item or something for walking back and forth? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Tamer Vincent here has a Persian. Persian is the evolution of Meowth right here. It actually becomes a uh, quadruped for some reason. I don't know. It's it's reverted back to primal stages and become a quadruped. So yeah, it's actually a pretty good Pokemon. Um, it's okay. Personally, I prefer Snorlax over any normal type, but it's actually okay to use in the uh, in game. So yeah, if you want one, by all means, go for it. A uh, gold duck, a level 44. Yeah, I'm gonna watch out for this little son of a. Yeah. I don't know if we've seen Golduck, but if we haven't, uh, Golduck is the evolution of Psyduck. It turns blue. It's Psychic type now, and um, yeah, it's actually a pretty good po water Pokemon to use. So I would go for it if you really want it, though. Uh, personally, I prefer Lapras over it because, I mean, Lapras. Come on, man. Uh, okay. I think you're a flying type trainer, aren't you? Okay, let's put Daichu out in the front and let the battles commence once again. Is Victory Road too tough? No, it's annoying as hell is what it is. Okay, so Juggler Gregory used the Mr. Mime. Apparently he's a magician and not a flying type. Seriously, dude, your sprite is a lie. Okay, now that we've gotten past the false magician, uh, TM07 Hail. Hail is a move kind of like Sandstorm. It's all ty uh, ice type. No, every Pokemon on the field besides ice types. So if you want to use that and you have a lot of ice type Pokemon, by all means, go ahead. Uh, let's see, we go up here, and there's an item right there. I do want that, I think. Ooh. Darn you, game designers! Why do I have to be tempted with your awesome items? <laughs> I heard rumors of a child prodigy. I'm no child. Okay, so cool trainer George is going to send out Executor, level 42. The Executioner has been executed! Uh, George also has a Sand Slash at level 42. He also has a Cloister at level 42. Cloister is the evolution of Shelter. Uh, it becomes part Ice-type. I think it was already Ice-type when it was Shelter, but Cloister is a very good Pokémon. It has very high defense. I'm not sure how it would fare in, um, in-game, but if you want to go ahead and try for it, go for it, and it suspiciously looks like something else. I think the game designers had something else on the mind when they were designing this game and the Pokemon inside them. So, yeah, I'll just leave your imagination to run wild on that. <laughs> He's got an Electrode at level 42, and he has an Arcanine at level 42, with Intimidate, apparently. Ugh, too bad you didn't have Burn Heal, huh? Okay, now what is this item? I must know. A Max Revive! Totally worth the time. Totally worth it. Alright, so now what we have to do is kind of awkward, because they don't really tell you what you're supposed to do with this boulder. But what you actually have to do is, uh, use strength on it. No, duh. I mean, obviously. No, you're just gonna let it sit there and take up space. You're actually supposed to push it all, all the way over here. Now, don't let it touch the top over there and try to block the water or anything, because then you won't be able to do anything with it afterwards. What you're supposed to do with it anyways. Uh, so, yeah, you want to push it down here. And you're supposed to push it all the way over here until you can push it over this buton. Ooh, there's an item down there. Money! TM50, Overheat. Overheat is a uh, special type move. It um, lowers your special attack every harshly every time you use it per turn. So it's actually like a Fire Blast move, but personally, I prefer Fire Blast over it despite the fact that uh, it has lower accuracy because I don't like... Um, my special attack being lowered every freaking turn, and why am I in the bag? I want to switch out Pokemon. Freaking killed my Pidgeot, man! That's not cool! Uh, good thing I still have revives. <laughs> revives make the world go round. Aww. No, not really. Anyways, push the boulder back over the thing. Thank God it doesn't go away during random encounters. Jeez, how bad would that be if that actually happened? Jeez. Okay, no more random encounters. Oh, I was hoping that would happen. <laughs> we got funny. Okay, we'll battle you. <laughs> okay, so she has a Clefairy at level 42. Next, she has a Jigglypuff at level 42. Aren't you just the prissiest little trainer ever, aren't you? Next, she has a Persian at level 42. God, why do you all, all of you trainers have, po like, five Pokemon? That's not cool. Next, she's got a Dugong at level 42. Nice change up from the normal types there, huh? 
And she has a Chansey at level 42. I didn't really go over Chansey the first time we saw it, but Chansey is a very good Pokemon, especially when it evolves in 2nd Gen in a Blissey, but it's actually a good Pokemon on its own because it has a lot of uh, HP. Personally, I don't find it that uh, helpful in-game because um, it's not good for what you essentially need, I guess I'd say. So yeah, uh, Chansey's just going to keep using Minimize and I'm just going to quick attack it next turn to get rid of it, so we'll be done then. With your lucky egg. Dare you not give me a lucky egg before. Level 44. Very, very cool. Okay, and Alexa. You mean Alexis? Okay, so now we've done that, let's keep going through, and there's no wall right here, so yay, we can keep running into more wild Pokemon! Okay, so let me just heal my Pokemon up a bit, because it's just becoming the most annoying thing in the world right now. I, I cannot stress how annoying this is. Oy. Okay, I think I have a Paralyzed Heal, don't I? Well, if I don't, I got a full heal, so... Ha ha, in your face, game, I don't need your darn Paralyzed Heal! Okay, and you can fight both these guys, I'm not really sure why you would, and I have to get... Man, I just love my bag, don't I? I just love going in the bag and getting stuff. Okay, so you can fight both these guys, I think they both have five Pokemon, I'm not really sure about this guy. Eh. So I guess I'll just show them. Okay, let's go! <laughs> Only the Chosen can pass here. I am the Chosen One. So Colby Beef here is going to send out his Kingler. Kingler is the evolution of Krabby. This is the Pokemon that I was talking about before. It's pretty cool. Uh, personally, I find it very useful to play around with. Well, not like that. Ugh, I sh bad word choices. But yeah, um, very cool Pokemon. I personally love it. So yeah, go for it, man. Go for it. Next, he's going to send out his Poliwhirl at level 42, which is going to kill my Daichu, but I don't really care because we have another Grass-type Pokemon, and I can use a Revive on it, but whatever. Anyways, Poliwhirl, yeah. And last but not least, he has a Tentacruel at level 42. Uh, Tentacruel is the evolution of Tentacool, and it's part water, part poison. It's a very good Pokemon to actually use in-game. It's surprisingly common, but yeah, it's actually a pretty good Pokemon to actually use. It's ugly as hell, so that's why I never use it. <laughs> but, yeah, go ahead. If you want it. If you love the ugliness that is Tinnacruel, go for it. Uh, Colby has a Seedra at level 42. And he has a freaking Blastoise at level 43. What the hell, came? Okay. <laughs> that didn't go as well as I hoped. <laughs> but then again, when does anything ever go as I hoped? Killed my Daichu and quick. Not surprised, though, not surprised. I had some difficulties in that battle, not really sure. Doi! Stuff. Anyways. Battle you! I'll show you just how good you are. Not! <clears throat> so Caroline has a Bell Sprout at level 42. I don't know what your problem is having a Bell Sprout at level 42, dude! She has a Weeping Bell at level 42. Okay, we're getting a little better. She has a Victory Bell at level 42. Okay, now we're getting it. Now we're getting the hint. And she has a Parasect at level 42, and she has a Paris at level 42. Okay, battle's done. Let's see. Battle's apparently not done. Uh, okay, so we have to push this boulder down this hole in order to get the stuff down there, with the stuff and the thing and the stuff. And if I could not be interrupted every two dang seconds, maybe I could get some sentence out. <sighs> okay, so you were supposed to push that boulder down here, and this boulder is to go over a Buton all the way over there. So, yeah. Anyways, let's the pushing commence. I think you can actually push the boulder on your bike. I'm not really sure how that works. I thought you'd pretty much go over the boulder or you'd crash your bike, but apparently not because Pokemon games don't think like that. Anyways, breaking glass. Okay. So now we can go up to the ladder with the stuff and the thing with the stuff and these two trainers right here, which we have to double battle. And these will be the final trainers of this place. So let's go ahead and put out some good Pokemon that aren't paralyzed, you little... Well, let's use a full heal. Is a full heal on it, jeez. Pidgeot has not been doing good in this place. I don't know why. I think it's... I mean, there are ground types in here, but... I know there's a couple of rock types, but it's not... It shouldn't be that bad. I mean, really? Jeez. Anyways, let's fight these two, and we'll be done. Tyra, we're trying to become champions together. There can only be one champion in this game, sir. Only one piece. 
Okay, so I'm gonna show this fight because it's the last one, and, you know, we can't have an entire episode of me just skipping around and doing... Da -da 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 -da. So, there was a whole bunch of flashiness on the screen. I'm not really sure what the deal was with that. Uh, so they both have a Needle King and a Needle Queen. So, it should be a pretty interesting match, I will admit that much. Uh, let's focus our attention on one before we take out the other. Hopefully we won't die by the end of this. Uh, Confusion should do a lot of damage because Psychic Types are very good against Poison Types. I, re I feel really bad for having to attack Needle King because it looks so cool. I might want to attack it again just in case it doesn't work. Okay. That's the thing. The t uh, attack is actually redirected to the second Pokemon in case it doesn't, uh... It dies during that turn, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, Root and Groot to level 44. Very, very cool. And Body Slam. Okay. I know I got poison, but I'm not really upset because we're almost at a healing station. Because we're almost out of this cave, so... Yay! For stuff! Okay. I like how I said okays. <laughs> okays, okays, okays. It's okays. Live him, live him. <laughs> okay. And body slam and confusion. And we're done, man. We are freaking done with this cave. Thank God. The pain in my cave. Yeah, they call it Victory Road for a reason. You have to be very victorious in order to get through this place. Oh my God. Jeez. Okay. So, this isn't a trainer. This guy will actually teach you a move. Uh, he'll teach your Pokemon Double Edge. It's a very powerful technique. However, you get recoil damage for using it, though, so I don't know how I feel about it. Anyways, epic music. Let me just uh, let you guys take it in for a sec. Okay. So, if you go over here, I think there's an item. No? Screw you, game. Screw you! Okay. And we're going to go over here, and this right here, my friends, is the Indigo Plateau. The final destination of all Pokemon trainers in Kanto. And we are not going to go into our PC because we don't have to deposit anything quite yet. Let me heal my Pokemon, and then we're going to get Gengar out. Because we need Gengar over that stupid little duck trio that didn't really help us that much because it just took up a slot in my team, but whatever. I needed it because I thought I'd have to leave there eventually, but whatever, that doesn't really matter, and I gotta stop saying whatever because it's not a very good uh, commentary on my part, but whatever. Anyways, now that we've gotten through the victory road, that's a great place to end off the episode. So next time on Pokemon Leaf Green version, we're gonna take on the Indigo Plateau and the Elite Four. The top four trainers and Kanto. So off screen, I'm gonna be training my Pokemon a little bit, that way they'll be at a good level to actually work on these guys. So I'll see you guys next time for when we take on the Elite Four and finish up this LP. I can't wait. Not really, because I like this LP. Ugh. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Later.